So how many people in this room use their laptop to write code that goes to production or actually runs production? Come on, I don't have very much time, but raise your hand quickly. So one of my favorite artists of all times is Johan Vermeer for lots of reasons. He's very much ahead of his time. Um, he, um, ha he you know, gives you a way of looking at sort of ordinary things um, from a different vantage point. And so my job in this particular talk is to see if I can do the same with sort of laptop to production stuff. So my job, hopefully, is to convince you that if you're using your laptop to go to production, maybe you're a little crazy or screwy or cuckoo for coconut, stuff like that. And I'm going to tell you why I think this is a problem. And then afterwards, you should all come find me, anybody who raised their hand, so I can berate you in person. I should give some credit where credit is due. Um, I had been thinking about this for a while, but I saw this talk by Corey, and he sort of uh, pushed me to continue asking these questions. So let's talk about what sort of questions I want to ask is. In my opinion, one of the things that's different between your laptop and production is the failure modes are way different. The way things fail your laptop, way different than the stuff that, that fails in production. Similarly, you know, the way you recover is also different. And show me the monitoring that you do on your laptop that's like your monitoring production. Performance characteristics on your laptop are extremely different from your production environment, if just for heterogeneity's sake. Right? There's all sorts of different ways that it's different, and yet we're expecting to write this code that's going to go into production. Similarly, I think it would be safe to say that on your laptop, it's very unlikely that you're doing things that are dynamic and distributed, right? Maybe you have a few VMs and stuff like that, but you're not doing it in the same sort of way you would do when it eventually goes out there. And this is a problem, and I put DNS there just to make everybody twitch, um, just a little bit. There's also other contextual differences, right, in terms of your networking. Maybe there's some special hardware that you run in your data center, right? So there's all these things that are way different than the thing you're typing at right now, some of you who are typing right now as I talk. So and I think um, here's another great one. How do you get software on your laptop? Do you get it the same way you put the stuff into production? And when you upgrade the software on your laptop, are you upgrading it exactly the same way? Because I bet you're not, and yet you're expecting this to be what is going, this is expected to work in production. And so you can probably guess that there's a bunch of stuff that's different between your laptop and production when it comes to security, and we're going to have just a couple of moments of silence for security. That was a lot more. That was a lot more moments than I was anticipating. And finally, I think I want to suggest that the mental model um, that you have is: um, I'm writing this code, and this is what it's going to do in production. And I'm writing this code, I'm thinking, oh, and this is what I wanted to do in production. You have this thing going in your head, back and forth, that is supposed to translate back and forth. Now, maybe at this point, two minutes in, you're either sad, or maybe I'm making you kind of angry, or maybe you're scared. I'm not going to give you the, the answer to your question, or maybe you're happy that, that, uh, that this is almost over. I don't know which. We'll find out. Because I think that we have started along this path, and there's some false hopes and shattered dreams. People do sort of the back to the future, which is sort of like batch submissions. Or maybe CICD you think is some magic alchemic process that takes bad code and turns it into production-ready code by the end of it. I think things are getting better, because there are ways to run containers on your laptop and have management systems on your laptop, like Mesos, Docker, Kubernetes. I took PCF off of that. Oh, oh pivotal people. Talk about that later if you like. Um, but here's what I think you really need. I think what you really need is some sort of platform that gives you isolation by default, strong environment support, programmable network control. You really want to be doing scheduling and deployment, and ideally having some sort of policy mechanism so you can control all that. And so I think if you've got that, let's look at our scorecard. Um, I believe that your failure scenarios are much similar. I think we are still not at the point where we can figure out how to do performance modeling between the two. I think that's still not going to work. Um, but I would say that if you continue on, that it's more dynamic and distributed if you're trying to run on your laptop something that looks more like what's in production. And your contextual differences, you know, give or take the sort of special hardware, start to melt away a little bit more. Similarly, I think it's also safe to say that your deployment and your update process, if you're using the same process, is going to be about the same. And we can discuss security. Whether the security gets better, same, more aligned, I don't really know. I'm going to claim it does, but I'd be willing to hear arguments that it doesn't, for sure. And finally, and perhaps the most important thing, I would like to suggest your mental model, if you're running a platform on your laptop and you're running a platform in production, gets to be aligned in a way that it normally isn't. If you'd like to try to play around with this sort of stuff, I encourage you to get in touch with me. If you want to actually download a platform that might actually do something like this, feel free to check out that URL right there. And you can see, you know, see if I'm, I'm full of it. Anyway, thank you very much for your time, and I really appreciate it.